Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So of course we are fully in the swing of 2022 and Rockstar Games have yet to release a brand new DLC into GTA 5 Online. Now there has been tons of different rumours and leaks hinting at a possible Cops and Crooks DLC update. If you guys aren't aware, over the years some of the most credible data miners and leakers in the GTA 5 community have come out and leaked a ton of information that hinted and basically proved that Rockstar Games were working on some sort of Cops and Crooks slash cops and robbers dlc update now i did only make a video a couple weeks ago talking about some of these leaks to do with the cops and crooks update so if i do remember i will leave a link to that video down low in the description it's definitely worth watching before you guys go ahead and watch this video just so you guys have a better idea of what we can expect to see when rockstar games do drop the cops and crooks dlc and that's exactly what we're going to be talking about in today's video everything we know so far hinting towards the cops and crooks dlc as well as some information on the potential vehicles we could be receiving with this DLC coming straight from some of the most credible leakers in the GTA 5 community. So as always, if you guys do appreciate the heads up and me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news, all I ask is you return the favor with a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, feel free to subscribe as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. With that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so quickly, if you guys have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about when I mention a Cops and Crooks DLC, Rockstar Games have basically planned a few years ago to release a DLC based around Cops and Crooks in free mode so not an adversary mode now what i do find quite funny is i made a video like i said about eight days ago talking about the potential cops and crooks dlc and only a few days ago in the most recent gta update we received a new updated adversary mode of the vespucci job which is basically a cops and robbers style adversary mode and maybe this is rockstar games simply hinting at the potential of a bigger cops and crooks dlc that will be making its way into free mode however like i was saying a few years ago rockstar games did plan on releasing this Cops and Crooks DLC, which would take part in free mode and not an adversary mode. There was tons of different files that were data mined and found in the coding within GTA 5, showing a bunch of unreleased stuff to do with a Cops and Crooks DLC. However, the timing was not on Rockstar Games' hand because of course there was a lot of controversy around police brutality in America. And to put it frank, Wildbrick142, who is a very, very credible data miner in the GTA 5 community, basically tweeted this back in January for people that weren't understanding. In summer, GTA Online was supposed to get a Cops and Crooks update. It had to be scrapped because of the nonsense going on in the US. Rockstar was still kind enough to hack up a small update so that it won't go without one, which if you guys aren't aware, was a last minute DLC just put together by Rockstar Games, as like he said, they had to scrap the Cops and Crooks DLC. However, a lot of stuff has calmed down now with the US and the controversy surrounding police. So there really is a possibility that Rockstar Games could be revisiting the cut content to release like we thought at a later date. Now I wanna go back to August 2020 when Wildbrick was basically leaking a ton of stuff, a ton of coding, showing everyone about a bunch of stuff that was unreleased from the Los Santos Tunas update. And on the eighth tweet, he basically tweeted this out, a possible Wolfsbane variant also found by Tez Funds 2 received an unused trade price of $71,250,000 in this DLC. That Wolfsbane would either be a bikers related edition or a new police bike. And then he does follow up saying, because at this point it's no secret that originally a Cops and Crooks DLC was planned. Police T2, which was coding or unreleased content found in GTA 5, he says is a new, possibly improved and customizable variant of the police transporter. There's also another bit of coding that reads POL Buffalo, so obviously standing for Police Buffalo. He does say most likely an improved and customizable variant of the existing 
police Buffalo. And then he drops even more information on the next tweet reading, both police vehicles are listed as vehicles with liveries in the creator scripts. The reason why I believe we were getting customizable cop cars is because of the unused LSC category names, top box, panniers, crash bars, searchlights, plus a new no push bar option and then he goes on to show an image here basically proving what he data mined in the gta files however he finishes off this thread by saying top box and panniers i assume are the boxes you see on the police bike hence that speculation on a final note there's many gaps in vehicle mod kit names and ids this many gaps is very unusual and highly indicative of cut vehicles. Make with that as you will. He then goes on to show another image, obviously just proving that he did data mine all these files, clearly showing that we was gonna be receiving customizable police vehicles. Now, the one question we do have is, since Rockstar Games cut the Cops and Crooks content back in 2020, we have received a few more updates obviously influencing more of the crooks lifestyle in gta 5 so i think it is perfect timing for rockstar games to drop a dlc like this where people could take up a different role in free mode and of course with the potential of unlocking other customizable police vehicles i think it will split the community equally and half the players want to take up roles as cops and the other side want to take up crooks leave a comment down below and let me know what would you guys prefer to be a cop or a crook however just as you guys thought i was done with the leaks talking about cops and crooks dlc from wildbrick he actually follows up with a 12th out of 11th tweet out of this thread so he didn't mean to actually go in more about potential cop cars in a dlc however it reads this well then missed this before there's eight to nine skipped ids for the ssasa that was a bit of a tongue twister web pages 209 debatable 211 to 215 218 to 220 no other website is missing ids bar warstock but it does it every dlc possibly cops and crooks cop cars were sold there perfectly coincides with the mod kit gaps too so it looks like when rockstar games originally planned to release the cops and crooks dlc they planned to release all of the vehicles on the warstock cash and carry website which obviously does make sense considering they would be different style of vehicles and obviously weaponized and leave a comment down below let me know what style of police vehicles would you guys like to see rockstar games introduce into gt GTA 5 if they were to release the Cops and Crooks DLC next. Now talking about when we can expect to see it, Rockstar Games already tweeted out that we will be receiving $100,000 for every week for the next 6 weeks. So we can expect to see it drop in around the end of June. June 29th, June 30th is looking like the most likely date. However, if we do get any more information by then, I will be sure to keep you guys up to date. So make sure you guys do click the little bell so you do keep notified every time I do post a brand new video. However, that is going to do it for me guys if you guys are still watching to this point and you probably have enjoyed the video so all i ask is you return the favor with a like down below and i will be sure to keep you guys up to date if we do hear any new information to do with any upcoming dlcs thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace